There are so many incredible benefits to house plants in feng shui and in your life in general in all ways. And today we're going to talk about house plants that can grow your wealth. So let's get started. To begin, my name is Dana Claudette. I'm a modern feng shui master. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the founder of the School of Intention, a radically new whole method of feng shui based on infinite possibility, creativity, and intention. And one of the things I love to do the most is to help people to grow their wealth because wealth supports us. And wealth is not just money. It's our self-worth. It's our self-esteem. It's our creative products. It's our legacy. It's growing all the things, including your wellness. All of it has to do with your wealth and house plants have so much to do with your abundance. So let's start with one of my favorites, succulents. Now succulents are incredible because they grow in brilliant geometry. Not only do they grow in brilliant geometry, all of their leaves stock up water just like you would stock up money for whenever you need it. So piling up abundance, piling up that life sustaining energy. So all of the plumpness of a succulent is really bringing all this energy and collecting it in the leaves and growing and multiplying. Succulents tend to multiply and you can propagate succulents very easily. Uh, when they start to get really big, uh, often they will divide off or they will drop some leaves and those leaves will spring up new succulents. Their geometry is so much symmetry, so much balance that it's a good metaphor for how you want to think about your life and all of its areas really balanced in a sense of wealth, not an extreme in one or an extreme in other, but just everything really balanced in your life as you're living your best life. Money trees are common to hear about in feng shui. The thing about money trees is that they grow wildly if you give them the space to grow. So I want you to think about that. When you give money the space to grow, when you give yourself the space, the focus, the environment that helps to support you in creating your empire and creating your wealth, when you give yourself the organization and your finances, all of these things, you have the room to really soar. And money trees, when you transplant them into big pots, they tend to grow really, really tall. They can grow up to seven feet tall, even taller. My friend has one that's about 10 feet tall in her yard that started out as a little tiny plant. It was really wild to see. She just kept giving it a bigger and bigger home and it's incredible. So they have a lot of symbolism in terms of the idea of growing money. And it's something to think about just in general. How are you growing the wealth in your life? Is it in a balanced way or do you feel like you've just been working and you haven't had time to care for yourself or you've just been plugging away at your creativity and really immersed in that but you haven't had time for other areas of your life? Think about that and see if you can balance that a little bit more. It's a good thing to do. It will help you to prosper. Golden pothos grow very bushy, very big, very vibrant. Their leaves vine out and stream down and they really do grow in this endless fashion. They're very easy to grow in low light. Uh, a little bit of light is a good thing, but they tend to grow well without a ton, ton of light, which is really good for those of you who feel like you don't have a lot of light to grow plants. And golden pothos is one of those plants high on the list of plants that clear the air. And it really does grow. I've had them grow from the top of a nine foot ceiling all the way down to the floor in a few months. Some of them grow really, really fast. Now, there are lots of ways to care for golden pothos. Some people trim them and when you trim them they tend to grow bushier uh, rather than letting them just grow and grow but every time you take a piece off of a pothos as with many plants when you take a piece off of it and put it in water you can propagate it and make more pothos plants more money plants and spread them around throughout history orchids have had great symbolism of fertility, of giving birth, of growth, of sexuality. And this energetically is all united with creativity. It's also really united with bringing more wealth to your life. So this is a really powerful, beautiful, exquisite, opulent 
flower and it's very long lasting. If you care for your orchids, they will be with you for a long time and they do rebloom. So when their blooms finally go through a full life cycle, don't throw it away because they will rebloom. Keep caring for it and allow it to bloom again. And you can use orchids with any color, with any symbolism. And many of you might be thinking right now, where am I supposed to put them for good feng shui? Where am I supposed to put them for good feng shui? Anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Anywhere where they will thrive is where you should put them for good feng shui. I don't believe that just one corner of a house needs one thing and one area needs another thing. Put them anywhere where they will thrive and you will find that your plants are happier, you're happier, and you will be able to really capture all of this fantastic energy. Flowers have been studied by science, and in studies, people have found that flowers bring more happiness and more optimism. So if you're looking for the bright side of things, bring more flowers into your space. Make it a regular ritual. Even if it's not an orchid that's potted, even if it's cut flowers, have these things surrounding you so you will really be immersed in all this beautiful magnetic energy. The jade plant has had a long history of being regarded as a money magnet. And historically speaking, they have been used in certain cultures placed near the front door or in front of the front door to attract wealth. People say if you have a jade by the front door, you'll have money problems no more or something like that. There's all these sayings. Uh, there's all these, these ideas about the jade plant. Now, the reason why the front door is really interesting is because the front door is where energy comes into your house. So if you have something magnetic and symbolic that really mirrors and symbolizes wealth for you, even if it's not a jade plant, whatever it is, it's going to help you to bring more of that energy into your life because you're really declaring it. You're putting it out there. Now the next and final one that I wanted to talk about today is the African violet. African violets are thought to, historically speaking, keep the bad vibes out of your house. So I have lots of African violets in my house and they do need light. They do need special care. They need to be kept warmer. You want to keep them by the warmest areas in your house where there's the most light coming in. And it is amazing to see them continuously bloom and continuously bloom and continuously bloom. And even when they're not blooming, they're really growing. They symbolize lots and lots and lots of wealth. And they also are thought to be a flower to bring into your bedroom if you are looking to get married. So African violets are fantastic. Orchids, jade plants, pothos, all sorts of succulents, every single kind of money tree. And no matter where you live, any kind of plant that grows locally for you, that you can grow, that is healthy, can also be included on this list. I could include about 100 other plants I could think of off the top of my head that I love to grow on this list. It's not just these plants, but I wanted to include these because these have lots of historical and interesting symbolism and also properties and also ways that you can use them and grow them quite easily. One other interesting study I wanted to mention before I go is that Texas A&M University recently found that plants in your workplace can increase creativity 15% or more. Now that might not sound like a very big deal, but it is a big deal when you're looking to really make a breakthrough. 15% more creativity can be the difference between a good year and a great year. It can be a difference between a good deal or a great deal when you're bringing your creativity to the table. So bring these plants into your office, bring plants everywhere around you and use the plants that grow for you. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below and let me know what you want to see more of. And if you've ever used plants to grow your wealth, let me know what has worked for you. I'm always excited to hear what is really working for you. And please don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video with your friends. And if you want to take feng shui to the next level in your life and become a professional, the revolutionary school of intention feng shui certification program is opening soon and all of the details are below. So sign up, learn more. I'd love to get to know you and I would love to help you to become a life changing designer. Thanks so much for watching guys. And there's more coming soon.